You're watching First Take, presented by Chase Sapphire. Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrie's Court. This is the opportunity where you get to ask questions to Skip and Stephen A. And we just go through the audience. It's the opportunity where the folks can feel as if they can engage in a debate. Right now with me is Anthony Sierra from Brooklyn. Uh, what is your question, my friend? Uh, which all-star event are you more excited for? The three-point contest or the slam dunk contest? Uh, Skip, I'll have you answer that. That's an easy one for me. All right. Um, three-point shooting contest. Easily. Okay. First of all, the slam dunk contest. Uh, look, no disrespect. Okay, but Mason Plumley is the favorite to some people to win the yeah, slam dunk. He is. Now he is. He is. He is. At, hold on. He is athletic. He's got skills. He's got a lot of promise. I like him. But there are no real mark. I mean, Victor Oladipo out of Orlando. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, yep. this kid. I won't even try to pronounce this kid's the name. The Greek freak. The Greek freak in yeah. Milwaukee. I Thank mean, and, and and Levine Zach. In Minnesota, yep. no joke, he could do so. He could win this thing too. Yep. But you're not; those are not household names. Look at this three-point shooting contest: Steph Curry, Kyle Korver, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, JJ Redick, Wesley Matthews, and Portland has improved. Marco Bellinelli. He's he's the defending and by the way, And by the way, James Harden, he's got he's got the worst odds of anybody to win this. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful contest. I'm yep. looking forward to the three-point shooting contest. I am so with you on this. It's not that I have fallen out of love with the dunk contest. I definitely will watch it. But I wish they could flip-flop flip -flop the events. I wish the grand finale tomorrow night could be this three-point contest. This is all-time, all-time great. And I do have a column that just got posted on ESPN.com about how the three-point shot has revolutionized the NBA over the last four or five years. The Spurs have been the best three-point shooting team. They've had the best record over the last four years because of it. The three-point line has kept Tim Duncan in the league because it opens the lane so much for him at his advanced age. I love the three-point shot so much. I'm advocating that they add another line beyond the three-point line for a four-point shot. Wow. A four point, maybe four feet back. It would be a, a real man shot, and the, the percentages would drop dramatically. But I think Kevin Durant could shoot four-point shots. Yeah, the problem with feet. that is I think it would encourage people who can't shoot to shoot more. Well, and that you could have said that about the three-point line, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about that one. Yeah. No, no. All right, uh, Stephen A., I I'm here with uh, Suzette Zellner. She's from North Plainfield, New Jersey. If you were single, she'd be after you. Because I just told you, she just told me she thought you were cute. I said, Stephen A is cute? Wow. She's like, yes. Wow. I, 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 I appreciate that, but I am spoken for, uh, but I think. Listen, she knows. Right. She was just thought she'd let you know. Give me that little wink. Um, okay, so you have a question. Uh, who is it for? Uh, okay, this is for you, Steve. Uh, so, uh, if will Coach Thibodeau still be there if the Bulls do not make the playoffs? That's a huge question mark. Let me say this. Coach Tom Thibodeau deserves to be there. He's one of the great coaches in the game. I think the Chicago Bulls would be absolute fools to let him get away. He's going to be under contract, but you hear so much noise about the friction that exists between him and the front office, whether it's Gar Foreman, or John Paxson. I honestly, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's going on because I've checked into it, but I hear two completely different sides. I don't know what's going to happen, but his, his tenure there does appear to be precarious at the very least. But if the Bulls lose him, they will make a big-time mistake in doing so. You think so? so? Yes. I, I think Kerry wasn't the was it to make the playoffs or make the finals? The finals the, was okay, the question. So make if they the, the finals. finals, yep. So if the Bulls don't make it to the finals. He could be, he might be You know gone. what? I'm with you on this. I don't know this for a fact, but I hear and read so much about the friction that continues to escalate. I think he could be gone. And, and I'm not with you about it would be a terrible thing for the franchise. I do think he can wear a team out mentally after a while. Now, off last night, maybe we're being prisoner of the moment. They looked really good last night. So I'm not going to write them off, especially if they get to the conference finals. It'd be hard to believe that he only would be. issue with Tom Thibodeau is his raspy voice. Everybody yeah. thinks he's just so hardcore, or whatever. Yeah. But his results cannot be disputed. Yeah. 
All right, so we got Bonji from Brooklyn. Can we uh -oh. get a Brooklyn, folks? Yeah. Brooklyn. <laughs> Thank you. It's appropriate. Your question for Skip Baylor. Hi, my the question is: Is Odell Beckham Jr. one year sensation, or is he a key, a key piece to the Giants' future? Mm. Oh, I think he's a key piece. I don't think there's any question that Odell Beckham no. Jr. for he's the New York Giants. This brother can ball. He's athletic. He obviously can catch very well. He had a breakout season as a rookie, and that was without the services of Victor Cruz. With Victor Cruz, he's only going to be better. You're not going to be able to key on him as much. I think Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be special, mm. and I think Victor Cruz, so long as he stays healthy, will be right there with him. Yeah, no, no disrespect to Bonji, but... That, that's a blasphemous question. Why yeah, is that blasphemous, listen, Bonji? It, it's Why? okay. It's okay. Do, do you think that he's going to be a one-year? I think no. he's going to be our future. Okay, thank you. Of course. So that's why th this is... This is not a valid question. I appreciate you asking it, I but, but this kid has... We've already seen enough. This is no one-year wonder. I mean, thank God you. bless him if he stays healthy, obviously. Health aside, yes. I, I mean, he, he tore up the National Football League as a rookie and, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. All right, so we got Joey. Well, Joey, you tell us your last name. Make sure I pronounce that correct. DelVal. DelVal. Okay, so you have a question, kind sir. What is it? I actually have a comment for Stephen A. First. Okay. That was a catch. Oh. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Thank I, you. One second. Wait. Wait, what? I, uh, where did that come from? <laughs> what? Wait a second. Where did that come from? Security. <laughs> Where's security? So you got him. You got him. He's no. lucky I ain't throw him out of here. I'm going to let you ask your question. And then All right. He, he is so to what be is removed. your question, sir? With the Dallas Cowboys' current situation, trying to sign DeMarco Murray and Des Bryant, and with Romo agent, do you see the Dallas Cowboys winning the Super Bowl in the next three years? Just skip. Well, what a great question. And by the way, to echo your sentiments, it that was, was definitely a catch. <laughs> you know it, and I know it. I know they lost. Yeah. That's all I know. I know they got robbed. That's that all bad I know. man. Crime of the century. <laughs> right up, bro. You know what? You're asking a three-year question. I, I'm asking next year. I, I think the Dallas Cowboys got a great shot of winning the Super Bowl next year. Next year. Yeah, boo yourself. You know what it is, Skip Bayless? I love it when you do this because you just set yourself up to get your heart broke. Yeah. The Dallas Cowboys will break your heart. Mm. The Dallas Cowboys will contend. The Dallas Cowboys will be relevant. But in the end, they will come up short as they always do. Whose heart did they break this year? Your heart. What, mine? Right? No, the Eagles because broke my heart. Because your Eagles the were Eagles, the accident the waiting to happen. Heart. The Eagles let Mark down. Sanchez was the ultimate accident waiting to happen. I didn't know Nick happen. Foles was going to get hurt. Okay. Oh. Okay, so uh -oh. guys. Uh-oh, here we go. We've got our special guest here. <laughs> he's, he's in his gangster stance, and, 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 he, and he got a message for Stephen A. Four-time MVP. <laughs> You're looking at a future four-time MVP. <laughs> Four? MVP. Yes. 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 The three-time MVP will be joining us after the break. Give it up for Kevin Hart, ladies and gentlemen. Woo!